Bismillahir Rahman Nir Rahim. Exposition of the Holy Quran. By Alamaji. A. Perwes. Surah 17. Bani Israel verse 1 to 52. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Subhanalladhi asra bi 'abdihi laylan min al-masjidil haram ila al-masjidil aqsa ila al-masjidil aqsa alladhi barakna hawlahu linuriyahu min ayatina innahu huwa as-sami'ul basir 1 the atmosphere in Mecca had become unbearable for the Jama'at al mumineen and there was a little hope that the message of Islam would be accepted by those who had not only rejected it but planned to kill the Rasul. Limitless glory to Allah who moved his devotee one night from the sacred mosque of Mecca to the farthest mosque in Medina, where atmosphere was much more conducive and its environs we had blessed. The purpose of the migration was that the promises made by Allah with him in Mecca should be fulfilled. Most certainly Allah is all hearing and all seeing. 20. 23. Therefore every decision of his is based on knowledge and wisdom. وَآتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابَ وَجَعَلْنَاهُ هُدًى لِبَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ أَلَّا تَتَّخِذُوا مِن دُونِي وَكِيلًا 2. Hijra is not a new phenomenon. It was part of the program of almost all the Rusul. It played an especially prominent part in the case of Moses. Moses was given the book for the guidance of the Bani Israel enjoining them not to take for guidance, anyone but Allah. ذرية من حملنا مع نوح إنه كان عبدا شكورا. Three. They were the posterity of those whom were rescued along with Noah, who was a grateful servant. Rasul. Of Allah. وقضينا إلى بني إسرائيل في الكتاب لتفسدن في الأرض مرتين ولتعلن علوا كبيرا. Four. We had told Bani Israel in that book that they would cause Fazad in the land twice and will indulge in arrogance and high-handedness. فَإِذَا جَاءَ وَعْدُ أُولَاهُمَا بَعَثْنَا عَلَيْكُمْ عِبَادًا لَنَا أُلِي بَأْسٍ شَدِيدٍ فَجَاسُوا خِلَالَ الدِّيَارِ وَكَانَ وَعْدًا مَفْعُولًا 5. The first of these occasions was the invasion of Nebuchadnezzar, whose army was mighty. They entered the inmost part of your cities and the inevitable happened. Six. Thereafter you made amends and we granted you a further chance of gaining control over the land. We helped you with wealth and children and greatly increased your numbers. In ahsantum ahsantum li anfusikum wa in asa'tum falaha fa idha jaa wa'du al-akhirati li وجوهكم وليدخلوا المسجد وليدخلوا المسجد كما دخلوه أول مرة وليتبروا ما علو تتبيرا. Seven. You have seen for yourselves that when you did the right thing it was to your own advantage and when you went astray you had to suffer the consequences of your wrong actions. 
when the time of reaction to your second lapse. Invasion of Titus. Arrived, people were raised up to humiliate you. They entered the temple as on the previous occasion and destroyed everything which came in their way. 17. 104. عسى ربكم أن يرحمكم وإن عدتم عدنا وجعلنا جهنم للكافرين حصيرا. Eight. Your life of ignominy still continues but there is another chance for your renaissance. If following this Rasul who has come to your own habitat. Madina. You adopt the right way. You will receive Allah's bounty. 7. 156 to 57. If you treat him in the same way as you treated your previous Anbiya, you will inevitably be recompensed for it by Allah and your abode will be Jahannam which serves as a prison home for those who discard the right way. <laughs> وَيُبَشِّرُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا كَبِيرًا وَأَنَّ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ أَعْتَدْنَا لَهُمْ عَذَابًا أَلِيمًا 9-10 The Quran which we have revealed to this Rasul guides towards the path which is most upright and balanced, and announces to those who believe and do good actions that they shall have great recompense, and to those who do not believe in the life hereafter that they shall have severe chastisement. <laughs> It is not possible for a man to determine what is absolutely good or evil for him. This is why he sometimes covets what may in reality be harmful for him as he covets what may be good for him, for man is prone to be impetuous. Therefore, he is in need of revelation which distinguishes between right and wrong. فَمَحَوْنَا آيَةَ اللَّيْلِ وَجَعَلْنَا آيَةَ النَّهَارِ مُبْصِرَةً لِتَبْتَغُوا فَضْلًا مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَلِتَعْلَمُوا عَدَدَ السِّنِينَ وَالْحِسَابَ وَكُلَّ شَيْءٍ فَصَّلْنَاهُ تَفْصِيلًا 12. Allah has made the night and the day as two signs, the sign of night is that it is devoid of light and the sign of day is that it is full of light, so that you may secure Allah's bounties. The alternation of night and day is necessary so that you may reckon the years and keep account, Allah has made everything distinctly clear. 6. 97. 10. 5. وكل إنسان ألزمناه طائره في عنقه ونخرج له يوم القيامة كتابا يلقاه منشورا 13. The struggle between good and evil continues within man himself and the record of this is fastened around his neck eye. It is not anywhere outside but is within himself. During this life, there are many thoughts, feelings, and desires which remain hidden in the unconscious mind. On the day of judgment all these will be brought about, in other words, the record which had remained folded hitherto will be spread out. <laughs> Allah will say to him, Read your own account. Today your own self should suffice to make out an account against yourself. Whoever 
ولا تزر وازرة وزر أخرى وما كنا معذبين حتى نبعث رسولا 15. This record is an evidence to show that whosoever follows the right path will do so to his own benefit. And whosoever goes astray will reap the consequences thereof himself, no bearer shall bear the burden of another. Allah does not chastise any people until he sends a Rasul to warn them of the consequences of following the wrong path. <laughs> نهلك قرية أمرنا مترفيها أمرنا مترفيها ففسقوا فيها فحق عليها القول فحق عليها القول فدمرناها تدميرا 16 What generally happens is that instead of paying heed to the warning those who exploit the labors of others become more intent in their misdoing. Our law of Mukafat takes its course and the doom they deserve overtakes them and they are absolutely ruined. <laughs> Look at the history and see how many generations since Noah we had destroyed. Which shows that your Rab has enough awareness and insight about the misdeeds of his creatures. Man kana yuridu al-ajila ta'ajjalna lahu fiha ma nasha'u liman nurid. ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَا لَهُ جَهَنَّمَ يَصْلَاهَا مَذْمُومًا مَدْحُورًا وَمَنْ أَرَادَ الْآخِرَةَ وَسَعَى لَهَا سَعْيَهَا وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ فَأُولَئِكَ كَانَ سَعْيُهُمْ مَشْكُورًا كُلًّا Eighteen to twenty. There are two categories of people, those who believe only in this world and those who believe in this world as well as in the next. Both make efforts to secure the bounties of this world which they will have in proportion to their efforts. Allah helps both of them and does not stand in the way of either of them. The fruits of the labor of those who believe only in this world will be confined to this world and in the hereafter they will be doomed to Jahannam where they will be condemned and forsaken. But those who believe in the hereafter also, will be recompensed for their efforts both in this world and the next. 2. 200 to 201, 11. 15 to 16, 42. 20, 96. 20. انظر كيف فضلنا بعضهم على بعض ولا الآخرة أكبر درجات وأكبر تفضيلا لا تجعل مع الله إلها آخر فتقعد مذموما مخذولا 21 to 22 just reflect on how some people exceed others as regards the bounties of this world but in the hereafter there are higher degrees and far greater bounties. And in order to achieve this, you obey only Allah's laws and associate no one else with him. Otherwise you will stand condemned and forsaken. 43. 84. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبَرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا 
فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة وقل رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا 23-24 For the betterment of the life hereafter, Allah has prescribed some permanent values including 1. You should obey only Allah's laws. 2. You should make good the deficiencies of your old parents. 3. If one or both of them grow old, you should not prod or reproach them but speak to them respectfully. 36. 68. 4. You should give them protection with all the affection and say, O oh my Rab, enable me to provide them means of nourishment as they had raised me from childhood. Rabbukum a'lamu bima fi nufusikum in takunu salihina fa innahu kana lil awwabina ghafura. 25. You should do all this. Not in a mechanical manner but from the core of your heart keeping always in mind that what you do for your parents helps in the development of your own self. Allah is the protector of those who revert to him for his protection. 26-37 Returning to the permanent values Five. 26. You should give their right to the near of kin as well as others who need your help and stranded wayfarers. This should be given to them as their right and not as a matter of charity. 70. 24. Innal mubadhirin kanu ikhwan وَكَانَ الشَّيْطَانُ لِرَبِّهِ كَفُورًا 6. 27. You should not squander your wealth, for those who do so, belong to the fraternity of Shaitan who is a symbol of those who defy Allah's laws. وَإِمَّا تُعْرِضَنَّ عَنْهُمُ بِتِغَاءَ رَحْمَةٍ مِّنْ رَبِّكَ تَرْجُوهَا فَقُلْ لَهُمْ قَوْلًا مَّيْسُورًا 7. 28. If it so happens that a needy person come to you and you yourself are seeking help from Allah and cannot help them, you should at least offer to him a word of sympathy. وَلَا تَجْعَلْ يَدَكَ مَغْلُولَةً إِلَىٰ عُنُقِكَ وَلَا تَبْسُطَهَا كُلَّ الْبَسْطَ فَتَقْعُدَ مَلُومًا مَحْسُورًا 8. 29. As regards your personal expenses, the basic rule is. Your hands should neither be tied to your neck nor so wide open that nothing is left for you and you are reduced to destitution. إِنَّ رَبَّكَ يَبْسُطُ الرِّزْقَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَقْدِرْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ بِعِبَادِهِ خَبِيرًا بَصِيرًا 9. 30. Keep in mind that sustenance is given in proportion to efforts, so you should make your maximum efforts to secure it. 53. 39. And most certainly he has full awareness and insight about his people. Ten. You should not kill your children or deprive them of means of development for fear of being reduced to poverty. It would be a grievous crime to do so. It is the responsibility of the Nizamir of Ubayyid to provide both for you and for them. وَلَا <laughs> 
إنه كان فاحشة وساء سبيلا 11. 32. You should not let even the thought of fornication come near you for it is an indecent act and opens a way for other evils. وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا النَّفْسَ الَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ وَمَنْ قُتِلَ مَظْلُومًا فَقَدْ جَعَلْنَا لِوَلِيِّهِ سُلْطَانًا فَلَا يُسْرِفْ فَلَا يُسْرِفْ فِي الْقَتْلِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ مَنْصُورًا 12. 33. You should not take away anyone's life, which Allah has made sacred, unjustly. If anyone is killed unjustly, the divine order itself becomes responsible for securing justice for him. The authority deciding the case should also see that the punishment does not outstep the bounds of justice. Justice should be done to both parties. 5. 32, 2. 178, 6. 152, 40. 13.34. You should not touch the property of the orphan who is under your guardianship unless it is to his benefit, till he reaches the age of maturity. 6. 153. 14. You should always fulfill your commitments, for every commitment shall have to be accounted for. Fifteen. 35. Whenever you measure out anything, you should measure it in full. Whenever you weigh anything, you should hold the scale evenly. This is how society will be able to maintain its economic balance. 83. 1 to 3. This is fair. For everyone. And much better in the final analysis. وَلَا تَقْفُ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ إِنَّ السَّمْعَ وَالْبَصَرَ وَالْفُؤَادَ إِنَّ السَّمْعَ وَالْبَصَرَ وَالْفُؤَادَ كُلُّ أُولَئِكَ كَانَ عَنْهُ مَسْؤُولًا 16. 36. You should not take a stand. Regarding anything where you have no personal knowledge. Use all means of inquiry and then come to a conclusion, Allah has given you all the faculties for this purpose. Mind it, the ear and the eye and the heart, all of them shall have to answer in regard to the question whether personal inquiry was made about the concerned matter. ولا تمش في الأرض مرحا إنك لن تخرق الأرض ولن تبلغ الجبال طولا 17. 37. You should not walk proudly for you cannot cleave the earth nor can you attain the stature of mountains. 31. 19. 40. 75. 3. 187. كل ذلك كان سيئه عند ربك مكروها. 38. Going against any of these directives will be odious to your Rab. ذلك مما أوحى إليك ربك من الحكمة. ولا تجعل مع الله إلها آخر فتلقى في جهنم ملوما مدحورا 39. All these values which are full of wisdom have been revealed to you by your Rab. None should therefore set up peers to Allah. If anyone does so, he will be cast into Jahannam condemned and forsaken. 2. 269.
أفأصفاكم ربكم بالبنين واتخذ من الملائكة إناثا إنكم لتقولون قولا عظيما 40. Referring to the superstitious belief of these people namely, that Allah has taken Malaika for daughters, ask them. Is it conceivable that Allah should exalt you by assigning sons to you and take of Malaika as daughters for himself? How awful it is for you to say such things. 16. 57. 41. Just reflect in how many different ways we have explained in this Quran what is good for them. Yet their aversion to it is ever increasing. 17. 89. 42. These people say that Allah has associates whom they have set up as peers to him. O Rasul! Tell them that had this been the case, these so-called associates would have devised means to share with Allah the control of the universe. In that event there would have been utter chaos. 21. 22. سبحانه وتعالى عما يقولون علوا كبيرا 43. It is clear, therefore, that Allah is much above what they ascribe to Him. Forty-four. Whatever there is in all the heavens and the earth and all that is therein, is busy in the accomplishment of Allah's plan to make it worthy of all hamd. But, with your scanty knowledge, you cannot, for the time being, appreciate the functioning of this phenomenon. Allah provides protection for everything in a most subtle way. So that they continue functioning without interruption. Forty-five to forty-six. There are those who are predetermined not to accept the message of the Rasul and do not believe in the life hereafter. When you present the Quran to them, O Rasul, an imperceptible curtain falls between them and you. This results in their hearts becoming covered and their ears becoming deaf so that they do not understand what you say and especially when you say that there is only one Allah they quickly turn their backs in aversion. 39. 45. <laughs> إذ يقول الظالمون إن تتبعون إلا رجلا مسحورا 47. We know what it is that they wish to hear when they give ear to you and what they whisper to each other when they are by themselves. We also know when they say to the believers. You are only following a man who is bewildered. Forty-eight. Just see the similes they find for you, because they have gone astray. Seven. One hundred and ninety-eight. Ten. Forty-two. Forty-seven. Sixteen. 
and now cannot find the way to the truth. وقالوا أإذا كنا عظاما ورفاة أإنا أإنا لمبعوثون خلقا جديدا. Forty nine. Amongst the things which they cite against you is that you say that after they are reduced to bones and dust, they shall be raised up again as a new creation. Seventeen. Ninety-eight. قل كونوا حجارة أو حديدا أو خلقا مما يكبر في صدوركم فسيقولون من يعيدنا قل الذي فطركم أول مرة فسينغضون إليك رؤوسهم ويقولون متاه قل عسى أن يكون قريبا يوم يدعوكم فتستجيبون بحمده وتظنون إن لبثتم إلا قليلا 50-52 Say to them This will be done even if you were turned to stones and iron or some other substance which you consider to be the hardest. They will retort. Who will bring us back to life? Say O Rasul. The one who created you the first time. When there was not even a speck of you. So if dead can come to life again, nations can also regain strength, by following his laws. Then they will shake their heads derisively and say. When shall this be? Say. It may be near at hand. It will happen also in this world when you submit to Allah's laws and participate in the divine program to make it worthy of hand. You will regain new life and forget all about what happened in the past and think that you had tarried but a little while. <laughs>